my dear viewers welcome to this reading this coffee cup reading is for all taurus and is for the month of august 2023 i do hope you all enjoyed welcome everybody my dear viewers for those of you who are new please be aware or mindful of prior to doing the coffee cup i always meditate and get in connection to all the guardian angels i'm given information which i write down on a piece of paper and i deliver to you right at the end of this reading so let us begin with your coffee cup it's a beautiful cup and i'll just show it to you right here starting from the top all the way mm, an amazing cross that's very interesting wow okay let's begin let's see what this is all about there's so much there okay glasses on bear with me okay and here i go Hmm. Oh my goodness, my dear Vor uh, Taurus. Um, it looks like that there is some sort of mm, something of unbalance going on here. It, it looks like it's within your body, an unbalanced situation, perhaps, or an unbalanced um, some sort of imbalance in your body. I feel like it could be because of your emotions. Your emotions are entangled. They could be causing a lot of um, health matters, maybe. Taking care of your body and your mind and your spirit, all that is very important. But mostly, uh, sometimes stress does cause uh, problems. Cortisol, it increases the hormone cortisol and it causes um, a lot of issues. Meditation, silence, walking in the parks or walking in your garden or just... Um, you know, hydrating as much as you can, being around water, all this might help you, especially if you have an inflamed um, something in your body. If there is inflammation, you need, uh, not only you need medicine to see a doctor, but you also do need uh, water. You need to replenish with water and you need to rest as much as you can. If you are envious of somebody's life because you are not having um, a little bit of luck, I feel like good fortune is coming to you and uh, you will replace all that envy with a, it's get, all that envy is getting replaced with a lot of happiness and a lot of fortune blessings are going to be received by you and you are going to be very very happy it might not seem like it now but things are moving big time i see luck to the highest level and degree i'm also seeing that um you are finally going to get you are going to gain control over a situation. Uh, part of that is your financial life. It will become easier to meet payments. Um, there might be some money coming in or success or business or sale or a real estate or something that's paying you uh, big money where you are able to develop um, a, a better financial success and you'll be able to manage it much better. I also see um, that there is that you are able to help others who are in need around you. So this is really good. This shows a lot of financial improvement big time. Being gentle uh, is very important. Having a gentle touch, having a gentle expression, being caring and compassionate in your way will make a big difference around you and to those who care about you. This is going to be challenging because sometimes you might be a little bit... Um, straight to the point and you know direct just to get your point across and sometimes that can be painful you have to be very very considerate for those who are around you this is really um sometimes you might come uh, you might be seen as controlling uh, so you've got to be very very careful uh, how you deal with um with these situations or with people um, around you and your expression i do see someone a little bit selfish materialistic around you um, you have to be very careful of this person trying to control you, trying to tell you what to do and what is right and what isn't. So you might be caught in an unhealthy situation. I do feel like, um, you know, there may be some compulsions uh, making you think of doing things that won't be beneficial for you. You could be overspending, uh, spending unnecessary. And um, I feel like, something that you might be doing a little bit too much of can 
be um, reduced or healed if, if there is something that you are doing a little bit too much of if you're eating too much or if you're spending too much or if you're drinking too much you know it could be something that you're doing a little bit too much i see that is contri what's contributing to this it seems to be stress you might be stressed about someone or something emotional pain here depression not quite happy within i feel like you might be regretting over something something you've done or something that's um, happened there are i see that you are sort of re re sort of going into the past and what was being said and the action that was taken and the misery that um that has brought great pain and you're thinking about that a lot i feel like this is going to come to an end um something in the maybe from the past or just recent you will heal from this pain uh, and and if it is literal in the literal sense where you're not able to uh, sleep well there might be pain muscular pain uh, on your side uh, on your right side perhaps i'm seeing the right side here muscular pain you do need to be um, taking time out and healing yourself. Um, I do feel like there could be an area of your back, maybe, or right side that needs a little bit of support, a little bit of massaging, a little bit of stretching. Um, that will help you big time. It could be the way you're sleeping, maybe you're sleeping on one side for too long, something like that. Um, but certainly, you are moving forward. I can see that without any doubt. You're moving forward big time. Sometimes being in solitude and just in quietness and silence is going to give you that peace that you truly, truly um, will appreciate as time goes by. Peace, uh, you are surrounded by peace. So for those of you who were going through some problems, all that is gone. I see that you are going to have control over everything in your life. Uh, there's, there's power and control now. You are in control of your journey. There's no one bothering you anymore. It's as though you own your own place, your own space, and no one is there to upset you. A very loving relationship between you and someone is um, gives you the ability, the authority, or the willpower to have self-control, to take care of yourself. You really enjoy um, the time that you have with this person. This person is very nurturing. But you are assuming control of a situation and doing quite well. I see a beautiful seahorse here. And this shows to me that there are situations connected to family. You feel a sense of family with this person. Or could be a family member. Responsibility and protection all is there. But you need to defend you know, those who are weaker than you. Or those who are in more misery than you. Those who are not happy. You've just got to be a little bit more... Uh, comforting a little bit more compassionate simple acts of kindness will play a big role and they will energize um, energize you and bring happiness to those around you to you and to those around you so kindness compassion understanding uh, will of course changes are going to help you make that possible there is a spiritual um, a spirit angel looking after you taking care of you showing that there is something wonderful yeah, there could be someone that's passed on that's watching over you at the same time. Um, purification is very important. I feel like maybe needing to replenish my dear Taurus water. Um, it's like this angel or this person that might have passed on a family member is wanting you to drink more water. More water. Believe it or not, that's what I'm seeing. The need to drink more water. Okay, glass is just dropping. Bear with me. All right. Now, as I come here and I see this beautiful cross, um, it shows to me a period of, and this mitten, really big mitten, it shows to me that this is a period where you are free. You're open, you're feeling spontaneous, adventurous. You're free from a lot of responsibilities. You know, actually something might have happened spiritually that's freed you from a lot of responsibility. I think somebody might have talked, uh, I feel like <clears throat> as though, a guardian angel has intervened in this situation and um and now your soul it's like your your intuition is is so comfortable with the outcome all the restrictions have gone of what you had to do or what you uh, were forced to do trust in the divine plan because it's all working for you and you are going to be feeling a sense of freedom a sense of accomplishment also as though you're accomplishing something wonderful and releasing you from something that was going to bind you abundance and abundance and abundance is coming to you this is the beautiful buffalo here 
Chinese year of the ox or buffalo. This is about abundance. The universe is going to provide you, especially in regard to something to do with either travel or a piece of uh, land. It looks like uh, um, an island or it looks like a piece of land maybe or it looks like... Um, um, there, there may be um, a property of some sort. There is something here that shows that uh, an interlocking kind of a connection here. There's something to do with the road, road work here. Maybe something needs attending to. Number 10 is there, the rooster, Chinese year of the rooster. And um, it is about a challenge that is coming to an end. It could be selling of this house or selling of this land or selling or getting rid of this entanglement. There is an entanglement here. It could be something connected to other people that you are getting rid of, but there is something coming to an absolute ending. Um, I do see a beautiful spider. A spider is all about money, abundance, and it's about your wishes and dreams being granted. It is connected to um, changes that will make that happen. A lot of peace coming your way and a lot of your achievements and wishes being granted, completed, um, goals, feeling plentiful, feeling that there's so many rewards, feeling as though money doesn't necessarily, uh, you really don't need money, as though some money is coming to you to that degree, the way you don't have any issues with money anymore. A lot of rewards, you're rewarding yourself also, and I do see um, that there is uh, freedom, freedom of choice to do what you want, the way you want, and how you want it. How amazing is that? Um, I'm also seeing a doorway that opens after you being obedient and following some sort of rules and regulations and doing the right thing. There's a passage, a doorway that opens that gives you a lot of success and transcends you to higher levels than where you are. Perhaps you've been following a regime or doing something that's so well. Now it's time for rewards. I do see a new path opening up, one that's got a lot of light, a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness, and mostly... Um, guidance, healing, and in the year of the rabbit cat here. Yeah, how amazing we've got the rat and the, the rabbit, the rabbit or the cat. They call it either the rabbit or the cat this year, 2023. Um, there's a lot of connections. There's a lot of healing with families also. And um, a strong angelic healing energy surrounds you. And you will feel it. You will feel it. There's one person from the far. This person really cares about you or your family. They're always there supporting you. They're always there. It's like a mystic healer always there watching over you. Now is the time for security. I see security, stability, strength. You're meeting someone who's helping you. Or you might be talking to someone, that, that person that I was saying, a mystic healer. That might be helping you to show you that there are so many qualities that um, you are not aware um, that you already possess and giving you ideas to move forward. I also feel like you are going to be feeling happy, playful. Uh, there's a lot of happiness and a lot of healing. You're healing from something big time. Um, and I feel like all the changes are bringing this healing on. I see your heart very um, bright. I see as though there is... A sense of love, affection, fulfillment, bliss, forgiveness, romance, passion, all of that. A lot of caring. I see a beautiful heart watching over you, healing, or maybe you're healing. Your heart is healing. That could be another factor. Um, sometimes feelings overwhelm you. And when that happens, you feel a sense of fear. Sometimes you want to run away because of this, but you can't. You just have to face up to it. It might be situations to do with family. Sometimes you do, maybe you feel that way. I'm seeing all 3333, for those of you who do see 3333. There's a key, a key factor that opens up a doorway that is going to give you a lot of happiness and a lot of peace. And it's going to give you a sense of ownership, a sense of stability, a breakthrough. Liberty, freedom from, from, from financial problems, freedom from uncertainty. Wow, that's what it is. I was trying to work out what this is. Freedom from uncertainty. Freedom from not knowing where you stand. A beautiful key. that It's connected to June because I see number six here. I also see double three. So it is also six. Something you need to remind yourself every now and then. You might be forgetting. Keep reminding yourself something you need to remember. I feel like um, 
I really feel like it's to do with compassion and being more caring to and gentle with yourself. I also feel like that it's very important to those that you love that you show how you feel. You act on it. You actually show the way you feel and perhaps maybe express it. Um, that's going to help elevate your relationship with those that you love, whether it's a partner, family, children, siblings, whoever that you really care about, those that you love. In regard to relationships, I do see a relationship pattern sort of like, what's the word? Maybe there are changes. Maybe you're realizing or recognizing the need for change. Some of you are not quite happy where you are. And I feel like, um, you know, it, it looks to me like it's as though you put feelings aside. You shut those um, feelings aside. You've put love aside, romance. You don't want, it's like you've shut your heart off and you don't want to be intimate. But now I feel like somehow things are again becoming ignited somewhat. And it doesn't show who or what, but I do feel there could be someone of the Chinese ear of the monkey. Very strong here. Um, somebody sort of like, I'm seeing kisses everywhere. Somebody wants to kiss. Somebody needs your kisses. Talked about kisses. There's talking about kissing. Longing for kissing longing for touching touching and kissing and longing for that i just feel like there's so much of that at this point in time like you're, you're feeling a sense of need for that mm, how amazing i'm seeing number 10 here chinese zero of the rooster um, i'm also seeing a, a completion of a chapter that has ended gemini wow i'm seeing a lot of gemini here this could be someone that is very uh, communicative oh wow there's a lot of gemini here one two three four communications but gemini very strong strong air energy gemini um air is there also but i'm seeing uh, there is libra and aquarius without a doubt uh, double libra and one aquarius but there are so many gemini's the symbol of gemini is all over the place so very strong gemini and someone that you'll be meeting where you will be feeling a certain connection with they're very witty they're very passionate they're very communicative and you're gonna love that i'm also seeing taurus they might have taurus like you the connection might be because they're taurus like you earth energy um earth energy very strong like yourself my dear taurus they could have taurus in them but there's a lot of gemini and libra like i said a little bit of aquarius there's aries in them fire and leo how amazing this is a star sign combination of of um of uh, people that you'll be very much dealing with in august and connecting with there's a lot of leo there's cancer cancer here very strong and water energy pisces scorpio but cancer more than anything else gemini cancer very strong earth energy taurus like yourself aries and um, gemini the most of a lot of gemini there's about four uh, symbols of gemini very strong here now what i'm seeing is a beautiful um vase here and i'm seeing a wood around it it looks like some sort of work or some artistry that you're doing something you're creating something you want to create there could be beads here there could be creation of something really wonderful that you might use in an occasion or you might display somewhere or you might be thinking of creating something magnificent there is creation chinese ear of the monkey here very strong could be someone that does that also chinese ear of the monkey very very strong here big time my dear Taurus, Chinese year of the monkey, uh, you are going to, you really respect this person and this, there's going to be a lot of respect and a lot of caring and a lot of loving and a lot of listening to this person. This person is going to guide and help and support you in the decisions that are needed to be made now. Or you could be meeting this person and, you know, you could be falling in love with this person. Monkey, Chinese year of the monkey, like I said, very strong. And then there is another strong one, Chinese year of the ox or buffalo. Either one, either the ox or the buffalo, they're called either either one, but it's one sign, ox or buffalo, like the rabbit or the cat. It's it's one, but they call it, different people call it different things. So Chinese year of the ox, buffalo, there's a few of them there, just like the monkey. Yes. Um, there's also... Um, rabbit chinese ear who we're talking about the cat and the rabbit chinese ear cat and the rabbit chinese ear of the dog here chinese ear of the rooster very strong and the goat wow all these chinese ears it just shows these people are going to be impacting your life all around in august it could be a people that you're meeting that you're inspired with that you're working with that you're falling in love with you're starting a chapter with 
it's all these uh, Chinese animals ears that are going to be helping you, supporting you, impacting you. You are going to be consumed and overwhelmed with these people. Wow. You need to be very generous and open. You need to open. You need to be open to generosity of others. So not only you being generous, but open to other people's generosity. You need to have faith and not to lose faith. Faith is going to support you big time. Happiness, emotional fulfillment, and a lot of your dreams are all happening. There's a lot of abundance pouring like a waterfall. A waterfall of abundance pour pouring into your life. A lot of support of friends or family. I see commitments are made and kept. Happiness, forgiveness, and reconciliation. Wow, something in the past, reconciliating or healing from the past. There's a lot of pos uh, possessions and you may be purchasing in the ho a home or selling a home. There may be a purchase. I saw the land or the property before and now again, either the purchase or the buying of the land. But you are going to be exceptionally happy. There is emotional happiness, fulfillment in every possible way. Things are just booming for you and August is going to be the beginning. There is a message coming, a phone call. That is going to be surprising. Let me now get the um, paper that pass on these other information. We have, my dear Taurus says, care is needed. When you're making decision, focus and care is needed. Fitness, your health, fitness is needed. Stretching, I was talking about stretching in your sides or your lower back or something in regard to fitness and taking care and stretching and um, healing. Um, water was also mentioned there, but not here. Something about plants and trees. Maybe you're thinking of working with plants or trees or creating something with plants and trees and flowers and beads. That is a possibility. December. Something special about December or somebody born in December or somebody who's a Sagittarius or a Capricorn. That's what December is all about. And it is connected to number 12. A new path, a new idea, a new concept is going to tantalize you. An angel is part of it. An angelic someone is going to be part of this new path. Something about June. June was given to me twice, my dear Taurus. Something miraculous is taking place in June. Something amazing is going to take place in June. June is going to impact your life in a big way. A positive change, a positive sign, something big, June. June was given twice. Now, water. Water again. Oh, my God. Energy. Water energy. Drink water. I was given water energy. Scorpio Cancer Pisces. But also drink water. Water needed very much. That's amazing. Somebody says, I'm still here. They're still there and they're still around you. Still here. Wow. As though they've gone, but they're still here. They're still waiting or they're still here. Still here means still around you. Something cynical or someone cynical you need to be very careful of. It could cause some loss. There is loss. But there's also a fruit ball. I saw fruit and I was shown a ball, a ball of fruit. Maybe you're drawing, maybe you're thinking about putting a ball of fruit, or maybe you need to replenish with fruit. That's another possibility. Now, we got names. I was given a lot of uh, letters and initials. So we got S for Sweden, for sweet, for summer, O for Olympics, Olive and Oliver. Two times I was given the letter N for no or never, M for Morocco, Mexico, Molasses, A for ants, um, apple, Alaska, E for evergreen, um, evening, W for winter, willow, wax, Y for yes, yellow, yams, T for tiger, Thailand, Tomo tomorrow or tomato. Okay, and then I was given two numbers. I was given number three, which is all about families, about union, working together well. It is about Pisces. It's people born in March, which are Pisces or Aries. Um, it is someone that's born in the Chinese year of the tiger. It is all about educating yourself, opening your mind to doing something new, expanding your knowledge, and so much more. Three is about union of working teams together and exploring um, new horizons. It's from the time you see this coffee cup up to three months, so much is going to be happening in regard to families, in regard to expanding your horizon, looking at the bigger picture, extending yourself to do more and learn more. And have ex some of you could be just renovating and, and giving, wanting more space. Now, 
the next number is number two number two is all about relationships and plenty that might take place in relationships and all kinds of relationships relationships like siblings and and um, love and family and and friends all kinds of relationships plenty is going to take place chinese zero of the buffalo you had four buffaloes here now another one chinese zero of the buffalo or the ox very important someone maybe you'll be meeting someone wonderful that might come into your life who's, who's in, um, born in the chinese zero of the ox or buffalo it is about somebody born in february also which is either pisces or aquarius we had Pisces, I think. I'm not sure. Two is also about people born in February. I said that. And Chinese era of the Oxo Buffalo. From the time you see this coffee cup up to two months, there will be so much happening in relationships and, you know, um, all kinds of plenty taking place. And it is about abundance. Abundance coming to you. And it could be coming because of two. You might have two of something. And you might be having abundance of that. Or you might be getting rid of one. And having abundance because you got rid of one. Having two. That was very intriguing. That is amazing. And that is the end of your reading. I do hope you enjoyed it, my dear viewers. Do give me a thumbs up. Very important if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't and you enjoy what I'm doing. It is so imperative that you subscribe to the channel to support me and to support the channel. And then to support yourself, I would like you to click on the bell. That notifies you every time I upload a different video for you. Make sure you watch your general reading for August or July. Or August hasn't been done yet. July one is there. So that you know who this person is that's coming into your life and you are consumed with that has all those Chinese, different Chineseese. Of course, different um, Taurus have different Chineseese. Therefore, there will be, of course, different ones. But the ones that were impacting um, the, the main ones uh, will make that th that difference because that's the majority. Have a look at that so you know your, the star signs of the people that you that we were talking about and how that sort of confirms and reaffirms and you get to know more about their personality at the end of the general reading. In regard to money and abundance that's coming your way, possessions and being able to buy a home and getting rid of a land or selling or money coming from a source, have a look at your money reading. That's very direct and to the point. And for lucky numbers, don't forget you've got your the community section that gives you all that information and your money reading tells you all about that. And that is the end. I hope you enjoyed it. I wish you a lot of love and a lot of light and a lot of blessings. Namaste.